So we're here at uh, NHK. Are you from NHK? Yes. So NHK is a national uh, TV station in Japan, uh, right? Actually, Japanese public broadcaster. And uh, you have R&D? Yes. So how much R&D you have? Um, about 250 researchers in all of our place. And you research the future of TV? Yes. Um, for example, this kind of uh, next generation uh, ultra high definition TV and also uh, 3D TV research or some other uh, universal services for the broadcasting. IP broadcasting services. Nice. So this is a, a 60 hertz demo right here. Uh, and you also have 120 hertz. Can we go yes. over there? So you have the camera and you have the screen. So uh, can you explain what is the difference between 60 and 120? Is it double the bandwidth or? Uh, bandwidth is also double, but uh, uh, 120 hertz is uh, uh, can capture the fast moving scene like uh, football uh, in the 60 hertz um, <clears throat> for example long long uh, shot or long feed pass is the ball is blood like like uh, motion bra uh, so here you're showing a, this is a live demo uh, yeah, this is a live. so it's a live 120 hertz what is this camera uh, this is a uh, <coughs> uh, full specification of the 8K camera. So uh, 8K is, has uh, 33 megapixels and this camera has 33 megapixel image sensor, uh, red, blue and green, three image sensors. So uh, still big prototype TV, uh, but a full spec 8K camera. And such model. This? Yes. This is Astro. This model is also 8K camera, but uh, uh, one image sensor. So, one image? Yeah? One image, what does that mean? Uh, image sensor is just one. So uh, this big camera has uh, uh, three image sensors and uh, <coughs> uh, split the uh, light light into the red, blue, and green, so using a prism, so it's big. But this one is just a one image sensor and uh, captures uh, red and blue and green in one image sensor, so uh, very small, and uh, camera head weight is only two kilograms. And this is also 120 hertz? Yes. It can this, be both? This support 120. So how do you do 120 hertz? The, the image goes out, it goes oh, where? That, that images. It goes directly? Uh, yes. <coughs> So also we we exhibited uh, uh, optical cable. So we need this. Ah uh, yes. So uh, how much bandwidth is going through here? Uh, this uh, first spef specification of the 8K is uh, bandwidth is uh, 144 gigabits. So huge. That's 60? Or well, that's 120? Uh, 120. 144 gigabits per second. Huge. So yeah. everything so, through one cable? Yes. So uh, this is a uh, newly developed uh, uh, cable, one, just one cable. <coughs> In the cable, there are 24 thin uh, optical cable. 24? Yes. And. Uh, so this is required. Could you compress? Uh, this is a, a baseband, raw data transmit. So this one cable can transmit one uh, hundred forty-four gigabits. And this is a, this is not a standard uh, fiber. It's special. Um, now in Japan, this is already standardized. This is standard. Yes, and also. We propose to uh, SMPT or ITUR, so now discussing about this. So you just take the cables that are there and you speed them up. Uh, and then uh, you this? can you could potentially... Uh, what do you think is the uh, time frame? How, how much time would it take before, uh, let's say, 4K and then 8K uh, okay. come in Japan? Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> so, uh, 
HK plan to uh, launch the test of broadcasting in 8K 2016 and uh, 2020 uh, we're gonna launch a full service full service of 8K <coughs> using satellite broadcasting satellite and uh, the big issue is the bitrate of the broadcasting so we're gonna use uh, next generation called the HEPC and uh, <coughs> 8K, yeah, 8K signal. Uh, 8K to 100 megabits, that's it? Yes, compressed into 100 megabit. So everybody can get it? Yes. Already in 2016, just uh, experimental? Yes. Right. All right. W why do you do all this? Uh, because uh, now uh, 4K in the market, but uh, uh, NHK or we think uh, 4K is not enough for the uh, human uh, recognition and uh, um, in the HK, 8K is designed, uh, field, of, field of view is 100 degrees so uh, <coughs> it means uh, HK screen covers all of human's eyesight and uh, our uh, recognition or recognition science experiment uh, that uh, HK size is a uh, uh, maximum effect of the uh, realistic uh, to feed the realistic to the human. So uh, HK is the uh, ultimate form of the 2D uh, television system. So to make 8K work, you need a different engine. Uh, you need a different panel, work? new panel, new yes. engine, yes. new chip, yes. new things. Yes. Many new things. Yes. So, uh, uh, if um, broadcasters uh, invest to the 4K first, and then um, a few years ago, um, they if they have to switch to the 8K, is a, a double investment. So, uh, NHK plan to uh, invest directly into the 8K. So, uh, investment is only one time. So. Nice. Did you also experiment uh, with uh, something like Oculus? You know, wearing the screen in your head and moving your head around. Uh, I, Is that funny? I know. I know. You think that's cool? Yeah. It's so, special, uh, right? No, 8K display is still big, but uh, uh, in the lab, uh, the smallest <coughs> display of the 8K is uh, 13 inch OLED. 30. 13. 13. 13 inch. So Whoa. something like a tablet. That's 8K. Yes. Wow. So <coughs> that kind of panel, um, it, it can be converted to the uh, HMD or something like that. Nice. Yeah. So this is cool. Uh, this is the coolest. This is 120 hertz now, the World Cup panel. 120 hertz. You had this camera, one camera in the stadium or what? Uh, yeah, uh, that camera, uh, that, that small camera. Astro, you bring it there. Yeah. You were there? You were filming? No, no, no. Uh, Some other guy. Another guy. All right. <laughs>